happy accident when I was trying to make a automobile suspension system and notice that it automatically started me bouncing. And what happens here is you have a spring in the center of that uh, uh, trampoline that uh, always wants to return it to a certain height. But on the end, you have a, uh, a slider action, uh, which is a physics action that uh, always wants to make <laughs> always wants to be perpendicular to the ground. And so it makes it so that if you stand on the end, that automatically starts you bouncing, and that's what made the trampoline. And then. How many people do you think you could put on it? Uh, Let's find out. We can find out. Let's hop on. So what do I do? I I just use the jump controller, which is. And. Okay. It's an actual physics simulation. It's not just fake picking you up. So we can like dampen one another or like knock the other up higher. And then I saw you even stop yourself by going into flying mode, right? Yeah, you can just hold. Space. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the weirdest interview I've ever done. I'm interv I'm recording an interview with Caitlin as we're jumping up and down. That's a that's a winner. <laughs> Actually, you could you could claim that that hasn't happened anywhere. That would be a great interview when you think about it. <laughs> VR has its ups and downs. <laughs> and, um, by the way, hello. I like the I'm sorry I'm late to our tea time. Maki and I got held up, but no good to see you guys. I'm out my audio trampoline again that uh, makes you bounce even more if you're making a Oh, that's great. So you, you, you can, again, you can use any data to enhance the equation that you're talking about in your case. You would you would use the loudness of your voice. That's actually pretty cool. It also really helps that the uh, the jumping animation is so good, especially with your with your avatar, Caitlin. And it just has a really good. Oh yeah. Like your hand placement and thing. It just it's such a happy jump. Of course, there's only two real questions. How do the ducks do on, on here, and how does the toaster do on here? That's what we'd want to know. Yeah, we can find out how the toaster will do. <laughs> yes, Maki? Sure. Excuse me for a second. Sure. So anyway, that's this, this physics-based trampoline that Brainstormer made. It's pretty amazing. Oh, he just now made an endless version of them. Wow. And you see Caitlin has come in as a toaster. Maybe, oh, I think you go straight up. So you can't bounce from one to the other per se, but you could fly from one to the other, I guess. Okay. Oh, so you could move forward and jump. Oh my goodness. I've just moved. Uh, you went into the auto fly. Flight. Oh, I went into auto fly as well too. And of course, I don't know how to get out of auto fly. So here I am, above this world, and you can see he made a whole list of um, a whole bunch of physics-based trampoline. I'm gonna come down again though. Okay. 